Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to unroute the T-Mobile G2 app. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root and how to load a custom recovery procedure for this to work properly. You can find those linked right here and here. Uh, just so you also know, this will return your G2X back to stock and erase all the data that's on the phone. So please back up anything that you want to keep. Uh, this is mainly used for having to return your phone for warranty reasons, or if you just want to start from scratch uh, with the rooting, etc. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you have to download the stock Nandroid backup. This is a backup that someone created uh, before they put in their information. Um, so we're going to use this to actually flash our phone back to the way it was when it first came out of the box. So first thing you need to do is download that backup. So you can either click on the link here um, for where we posted it, or you can go to the original post um, on XDA Developers uh, where the person who created the backup posted it there as well. Either way, click on that, download it, and save it to your computer. Okay, so the first thing you got to do uh, is turn off your phone. Okay, and then we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume down and power at the same time and keep holding it. So you see the little Android word pop up and you can let go. And now we're in our Clockwork Mard recovery image. We're going to scroll down to backup and restore and then hit backup. Uh, we're doing this to do a backup of what we have right now for two reasons. One, just in case something goes wrong. Um, and then two, just in case you haven't done a backup before because you have to do at least one for there to be a specific folder on the SD card that we're gonna use to put the other backup that we just downloaded into and flash it. So either way, we're doing this backup real quick. Wait for it to do that, it's going to take a while. Um, but once it's done, we can go to the next step. Okay, so eventually it'll say backup complete. When it does that, we can push reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot okay once the device reboots we're gonna plug it in via USB cable and then we're going to mount the USB so this way we can transfer files to it okay so once that's extracted we're gonna take that new folder we're actually going to copy it Go to our SD card, go into the clock mod folder, into the backup folder, and paste the item. Okay, and wait for that to copy over. Okay, once it's done transferring, we're going to unplug the device. And then we're going to turn it off. And once it's off, we're gonna again hold down volume down and power and keep holding it. So the Android word comes up and you can let go. Okay, now we're gonna scroll down to backup and restore again. Then hit restore and then we're gonna choose the LG stock uh, backup file that we saved on here and go to yes restore and it should say checking md5 sums and then eventually it'll start flashing the backup okay once that's done it says back uh, restore complete we're going to scroll down to wipe data slash factory reset scroll to yes and wait for that to finish wiping everything Okay, and once that's done, we're gonna hit reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, then we're gonna grab the NV flasher file from the how to uh, flash a custom recovery image procedure. Grab that. We're gonna right click it and run as administrator. If you don't have that option, just hit open. And then once this NV flasher is open, we can go to the next step.
Okay, now we're going to turn off the phone. And we're going to take out the battery. Okay, now with the battery out, we're going to hold down volume up and down at the same time. It's probably easier to do it this way. While those are being held, we're going to plug in the device. Do not let go of the two buttons. Okay, now with the button still held, you're gonna click flash stock recovery and wait for the command prompt to do all of its stuff. Everything should say successful. If there are any errors, then unplug the phone, plug it back in, do it again. Uh, this says successful, so we can go on to the next step. Once it says SW upgrade on the device like that, you can let go of the two buttons and set it down. After waiting a few seconds uh, with this screen on, you're going to unplug it from the USB cable. Okay, after that we can put the battery back into the phone, put the back back on. Okay, then after that, you're going to open up your app drawer, scroll down, and you should not see super user permissions, the little, you know, skull and crossbones guy in there. As long as you don't, you now have your stock recovery image, you are no longer rooted, and you're back to the stock uh, firmware. So now you can send your device in for warranty, or head over to our how-tos and reroute and start from scratch. There you go.